Hello and welcome to the video with me, your winner and trade where I'm now doing another series here on Age of History 2 on with some Mega Mod on playing as the Ottoman Empire on the 1440 Rise of the Ottoman scenario this time, guys. Well, got a suggestion in the previous series I did to do this one. So yeah, playing as the Ottoman Empire, apparently it's war with some Hungarian Crusaders right off the bat, so I'm going to have to deal with, but before I get to that budget stuff. Basically what I normally do every single game basically and technology is basically what I basically going to be doing as normal from this point on I feel like with that distribution there and yeah this is like the third attempt I've actually had at this here because I noticed a little bug here that's kind of took me a bit to figure out how to deal with it because these Hungarian Crusaders these two provinces have zero population but complete which completely destroys your economy everything comes zero because of those two provinces there so yeah kind of have to make it so the population of these two provinces is not zero which basically requires this missing troops in those two provinces so dismiss all those troops there and all that. That's now the entire population of that province. There. I guess I'll just dismiss all the troops I recruited. I guess. I guess why not? And there we go. Fixed. Good. Fix that little bug. Good. So I'm not actually making money now like I'm supposed to. Great. Um, let's see. I guess I should do province building for this stuff as well. So get this stuff up and then I will continue things, I guess, by taking over that country, I guess. And then after that, I could possibly go after the Basitine Empire and finish them off, possibly. Or that country. Hmm. If I go out to the Basitine Empire, I'm going to have to fight these two over here, because they're vassals of the Basitine Empire. But yeah, go ahead, deal with province ability here, get this stuff dealt with. Okay, so... Took longer than I was expecting there, because basically all the provinces were pretty low. So yeah, I brought everything up to reasonable levels at the very least, making sure everything got over 90% on province ability, considering this is basically the core of my country here. But yeah, apparently Basin Empire is at war with their vassals now. So... Yeah. I'm going to go after them next. Since there really isn't anything they can do to stop me. See? <laughs> yeah, they stood absolutely no chance there. And I think I'll go ahead and do this as well over here. Oh, nice. Thank you for accepting that so easily. I wonder, will you accept an ultimatum? If you do, that'll be great. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. I don't even have to take over these countries by force. I'll let them survive for a little bit longer, I think. I'm probably going to be ignoring them for right now, but I'll be taking them over pretty quickly, I think. But yeah, gotta go through, do this province building for all the land I actually just got. So yeah, let's get this done. Okay, now, Athens, will you accept an ultimatum? <laughs> the same with you. Will you accept an ultimatum? Yes to Athens and no on the other. Got it. 
In that case, send those ships down there. While I do province stability right here. I imagine I'm not really going to need that large of an army to actually deal with them. But, eh. I could pro possibly recruit more troops than they'd accept, most likely. So, hmm. I'll let them live for a little bit right now, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Just need to recruit a bit more troops, like I did right there, and that was enough to get them to, to just accept an ultimatum. Perfect. So I should be able to take over these islands over here pretty easily as well. There we go. Nice. I have secured most of this area for the most part of this point. Okay. So, do I want to go ahead and take them over next? Or kind of start doing some other stuff like building ports? Because I really don't have that many. Just the uh, ones that I had by default from... Those being capitals of countries and stuff. I guess I'll do that. And also line some troops up along my other borders. Okay, got ports built and I apparently actually have nearly 400,000 troops at this point with 10,000 troops in every single bordering province at the very least. So let's see, you got an alliance with them. Hmm, honestly don't care. Wait, I should probably build some watchtowers around here just to make sure I can actually see what they currently have. <laughs> yeah, I should probably do that. Hmm, okay. I think I'll recruit more troops along this border before I go after them. Okay, nearly half a million troops now with that. Okay, 31 provinces they have, okay. Sure, and I'm just going to go to war and hope for the best here, I guess. Well, that went better than I expected. Okay, so do I want to go ahead and deal with that country or not? Hmm, because I could deal with them. I could. Okay, this was actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. God damn. I really did not need that large of an army to deal with them. Okay, sure. Um, let's see. Take you over and I can take you over entirely as well. So I guess I will. That's why not. Okay, I'll go ahead and send an ultimatum to this country here, since they're literally the only thing separating me from that stuff, which they accept that ultimatum. Good for them. They get to survive. Okay, there. Good. Good, good, good. Now, I guess I can build some more ports around here. Since, for the most part, that just um, expanded my coastline and nothing else, to be honest. Also, no idea why these are provinces you can see, provinces you can send troops to, but apparently they are, which also means you can build ports in these provinces, so. I just go ahead and take advantage of it, considering, yeah, it makes it to where the province are ever so slightly better, I guess, with a better economy and stuff. But yeah, there we go, 10,000 troops in every single province along the borders again. I could easily take over this country, I think, right? Yeah. Go ahead and deal with this one. There. 
Okay, there. Good. Now, I think next up, I want to deal with... Hmm. Do I want to kick Gonya out over here? Next. Do I? Possibly. I require getting more troops, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to demand all these islands they got around here, including this stuff up here. Kick them out to this entire area and just leave them over in Europe. Thankfully, they do not have any alliances yet, so I can easily deal with this. And it's when these islands like that actually have a uh, lands connection because they honestly can't tell if they do or not. Eh, oh well. Go ahead and deal with that country there. Good. And that is everything I wanted from them, so I'm just going to go ahead and give peace. Because I honestly don't care about the rest of their land over there in Italy. Okay, nice. Slowly expanding by making progress here. Hmm, can I get Cyprus to just accept an ultimatum immediately? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. So, next up, I think I will go after Albania over here. Okay, get troops up here against Serbia, since they are now my next target. Oh, well, Serbia, you really just picked a bad time to go to war with Hungary. <laughs> now, apparently you've already been fighting for three months, so that's been going for a little bit, I guess. It's just the first turn that you've made progress, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take full advantage of this and go after Serbia. Since basically their entire army is going to be up north at this point fighting Hungary. And there we go. Only 452 casualties to take over the entirety of Serbia. They really picked a bad time to go to war there. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and go after Bosnia over here. Because they do kind of seem a bit weak. And there we go. Done. Okay, go ahead and take over that country with their two provinces, I guess, and go ahead and recruit some more troops to hit over there on that fifth border. And there we go. Good. Maintaining my 10,000 troops in every single bordering border province thing. Nice. There we go. Now, I can't go... Any further east this point without fighting Hungary or Venice. So, hmm. I guess at this point I will kind of start working on the Middle East a little bit more. So, build up some troops around here. A lot more troops, considering I'm going to have to go out to the Malmux over here eventually. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see. Time to start dealing with these countries over here. Since I recruited over half a million troops, basically, to get more troops over here, basically. Making sure I got at least 20,000 along the entire border in this area now. With another 350,000 pretty much just sitting around waiting for me to actually need them. Okay, that country there just went to war with them. Or, they went to war with them, okay. Sure. Now, let's go ahead and send this ultimatum. 26 provinces, and they accept. Nice! Thank you very much. With all that, my border didn't actually get any longer. Nice. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Build some watch towers around this area so I can get an idea of what these countries have around here. You are pretty strong, but you don't actually have any troops on my border. Basically, except for that. Weird. Taking over some land around here, from what I can tell. Yeah. It took over Armenia. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Got it. Now, I'm not sure how strong they are, but I'm going to guess they're pretty damn strong. They're stronger than that one. That's for sure. Okay. So, here's a question. Do I want to go after Venice and kick them out over here or not? Yeah, I think I'll deal with Venice straight quick. Okay, there we go. That's everything. Nice. Now, if Kratoka gets in the... tries to get independence from Hungary, I'll go after them. Instantly. Without question. But, um, yeah. They have a lot of troops over here on my border. And I really don't like that. Hmm. No. They formed a union. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Uh, I can see all of India and... I mean, go over here at this point. I'm about as strong as the Ming is, by the looks of it. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. I want to go out to them next, for sure. That's going to cost me a lot of troops right away, which I do not like, because that'll be basically a Tenth of my army gone at first turn instantly. I really do not like that. So I think I will recruit more troops so I can handle things a bit better over there. Okay. Let's go for it. Go and demand a bunch of this land up here. There we go. They don't accept, so it's gonna be war. Of course. Oh boy. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Didn't even lose 100,000 the first turn. That's great. Much better than I was expecting. And they got these little attacks over here that are really going to help out. Hmm. 
There has barely been any fighting since the first turn. Do they really not have anything else? Was that their entire army they had in that my board rights there in those two provinces basically? Because if it was, that was what in the world were they even thinking? If that was their entire army. Not even trying to protect the rest of their border? And there we go. The only troops I lost were on that first turn. I kept losing troops somewhere, but I didn't see where it were, any of those casualties were. But yeah. Wow. I did not expect it to be that easy. And I can literally take over their entire country. Okay. Well then. I guess I'll group up all these troops and sort things out around here while also dealing with province ability of course because this is going to take a while for sure guys i just got a lot of land okay province ability done at this point and i think i'm just going to quickly take over these two countries right here since I'm pretty sure they all accept ultimatums easily. And I do want to get this stuff. Be able to actually access this land over here. And not have it separated. So yeah, there we go. Good. Nice. That's done. So now I'll go through, do province ability for this land here, and then... I guess I'll build ports, cause the ports I built right here is really the only thing kind of connecting all this stuff here. Basically no ports around here. Gotta build some. So yeah, province built ports, and I guess that's it for this episode, yes? Yeah. Since I don't think I'm going to bother trying to colonize that stuff yet. So yeah, get this stuff done and I'll be done for this episode. Okay, so, there we go. Got that stuff done. Have one and a half million troops still. Nice. But yeah, I think that's pretty good progress for a single episode. <laughs> yeah, basically already got the Empire to its height, pretty much. I just need to take over that country there, and I think a bit of this stuff over here, and yeah. I guess also kind of get more over here in North Africa or something. But overall, yeah, pretty much got all that done. Next episode, I'm definitely taking them over for sure. I'm probably going to take or the rest of the Middle East over here on the Arabian Peninsula. Most likely. Expand a bit over here into Africa. Maybe go down here a little bit. Possibly. And over here, I may go after Lithuania. Possibly. May do that. Go out to the Great Horde there. Kind of just get all of that stuff under my control. Completely secure the Black Sea. May do that. Not sure if I want to go after Hungary or not, but I could possibly do that. Looks like Gretoka is going to be getting independent soon. <laughs> That's nice. So, yeah, I guess I'll be dealing with Kratok in the next episode as well. Nice, nice. Okay. You can see almost all of Africa and almost all of Asia at this point. Good. Okay. But, yeah. Go ahead and save right here, I guess. And there we go. So, yeah, that there is the end of this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.